Welcome to Easy Gates instrumentation paper, Gate 22 memory based questions. So, I have already introduced myself in the Easy session. So, let me introduce once again. This is Kumaran, alumnus of IT Metras, by doing my MTech in control and instrumentation systems. And I used to teach uh, around four to five subjects for instrumentation. So, that is also common to electronics and communication, mainly analog electronics analog electronics, digital electronics, control systems, and circuits. Apart from this, I also handle uh, for instrumentation, uh, measurements, sensors, sense signal conditioning, and uh, process control as well, okay? So let us get into the problems uh, in IN 2022 paper. So relative to the AZ paper and the electrical paper, uh, the in instrumentation paper is little moderate. It is not easy to score. And probably the aspirants of electrical and uh, ECE might have uh, given a good attempt in the instrumentation paper. So the competition is little uh, high, especially for the average performance in the instrumentation paper because electrical and uh, ECE students also scoring easily uh, 50 plus because 80 percent, uh, 70 to 80 percent of the content is very identical with ECE students, especially when compared with the ECE and IN syllabus. So ECE students will be uh, easily scoring around 60 marks even if they prepared well in their easy subjects okay so the in gate aspirants scoring more than 60 definitely you will see your original ranks okay but the paper is even though moderate it is well connected to the fundamental so if you you if you well prepared for an year and practiced well all the old gate papers so it is very easy to score 70 plus that's my observation from the in paper so we'll see that, okay, when we discuss all the questions throughout the session, you will see uh, how moderate it was comparing to easy and electrical. Okay, easy paper, little easy. It, it was looking, it's a little easy comparing to instrumentation. Okay, yes, <clears throat> that's my observation. So with that, uh, let me get into IN gate 22 papers based, memory based problems. So soon we will be releasing uh, the answer keys once again and uh, exact solutions once again since it is a memory based whatever the data we have collected accordingly we are giving the answer okay so soon we will be getting the response sheet and update our uh, solutions as well okay so till then you can keep uh, uh, enjoying the content delivered by easy Kate. okay so first we'll begin with analog electronics and do subscribe the channel and also share to your friends and we are announcing our batches for gate 23 and gate 24 okay so it's already admissions are open and students willing to join yes you are okay welcome to join okay and we have uh, three important batches one is the rank improvement batch okay which is especially for gate qualified students okay so with uh, a little bit of guarantee assured especially for the gate qualified students you can visit our website and you can see them okay Fine, let me get into the problem. So this is the first one I'm willing to start with. Okay, that's from analog electronics. Very easy, little bit of transiency plate along with the ideal op amp. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what is the biasing given for the operational amplifier. So by habit, we usually take plus 15, minus 15, or plus 10, or minus 10. Let me take plus 10 and minus 10, but that is not going to change uh, the complexion of the problem and as well as your answer. Answer is going to, whatever you're going to get the answer is going to be the same, okay? Yes, let me begin. So this is what given an ideal op amp doesn't have any feedback. So that means it's an open loop. That means it is going to act as a simple comparator. So based on whenever VD is positive, so you know the fundamental, the moment there is no feedback and op amp is simply going to make your output. So whenever VD is positive, V0 is going to be positive, Vz, positive Vzc. In this case, it is going to be plus 10. Whenever VD is negative, Okay, whenever VD is negative, V0 is going to be negative VZ or negative VCC. In this case, it is negative 10. So this is what it knows. It's a simple analog op amp comparator. Okay, as of now, it's not operating with any feedback, neither positive feedback nor negative feedback. Okay, so this is a very easy problem, probably for two marks, numerical answer type. Okay, so we'll begin. So what is given first understand? So we have a potential divider excited by 5 volt and the two currents 
the input terminal currents of the op amp we know it is zero because ideal op amp has infinite input resistance so there is no current at the input terminals of the op amp if that is the case the current excited by your 5 volt will be going through 600 and 400 only it is going to be uh, 5 by 1k so 5 by 1k means it is going to be 5 milliamps current that is going to make a drop of uh, 5 milli into 400 either you can go by voltage division also so let me keep it as simple as possible so 5 milliamps into 400 will make around 2000 millivolt that is equal to 2 volt therefore this point is equal to 2 volts so then this inverting terminal of this op amp is set at 2 volt reference okay it's a reference voltage we can take it as a reference voltage okay decided by this 600 ohm and 400 ohm potential divider then we have a switch that switch is closed from long time that means you can take the time okay from minus infinity to zero seconds it is actually zero minus okay it is zero minus till that time the switch is closed and the problem is in such a way that the switch is getting opened at time t equal to zero then the time t at which the output switch is to low is that means low means this is what we call as low and this is what we call as high usually in digital logic high means your upper saturation low means your lower saturation you can say positive saturation and negative saturation you can assume so given it is low that means the output is switching from high to low okay you simply said the time at which the output switches to low means it has to switch only from high to low only okay so feel that way so it's looking for the time where it will switch from plus 10 to minus 10 that is positive vcc to negative vcc that time only the problem is okay assuming ideal op amp so initially the switch is closed means so let us set the problem for t less than zero first okay so hope you understood the problem statement so why are this resistor this is your r1 you can say this is your r2 we can say this is a capacitor we can say so this is again excited by the 5 volt the capacitor is going to charge and enough time is given almost infinite time is given before the switch is getting open for the capacitor to charge this is plus and minus we don't know what voltage it is built we'll see what is the voltage it is holding okay for a time t equal to zero that is a moment at which the switch is getting opened we'll see that so now let me get into the point where the time is less than zero seconds or zero milliseconds okay so time less than zero the switch is closed switch is closed means already this point is known to be two volt okay now this is five volt excitation to this okay you can say r1 r2 and this capacitor so you are allowing infinite time so because the time is taken from minus infinity to zero therefore the capacitor will be fully charged therefore at time t equal to zero minus let me take at time t equal to zero minus second that means before the switch is getting opened even after opening the switch the capacitor is going to hold same potential okay so then at time t equal to zero minus seconds okay so there is no current through the capacitor because the current is fully charged since the current is fully charged it means whatever the current existing here call it as i1 the same current is going to exist here as well okay it is i1 because this current already you know zero this current is also zero as per the kcl balance okay so this is how the current is going to exist that means what is the current now the current is going to pass through r1 and r2 effectively r1 and r2 are in series therefore the current is going to be 5 volts divided by 6 kilo ohms because 1k and 5k effectively in series because the capacitor is not having any current you can feel like it is like a virtually open circuited one at only time t equal to 0 minus when it is fully charged so that is a current and then what is the voltage it is going to lose across 1k means so 5 by 6 volt it will lose so the top is 5 volt with respect to the point potential you're going to lose 5 by 6 means what is this point potential then so this point potential will be 5 minus 5 by 6 let me take it here 5 minus 5 by 6 that is going to be so 30 minus 5 by 6 this is going to be 25 by 6 volt okay that's voltage so this point is going to be at 25 by 6 volt that means the capacitor is fully charged to a voltage of 25 by 6 so we can say the voltage across a capacitor let me call it as vc so vc of t so what is vc of t so vc of t at time t equal to 0 minus is equal to that 25 by 6 volts that's a voltage it is holding okay so now under this condition we should know what exactly the circuit is doing okay so under this condition that means the capacitor is not going to take actually infinite time okay so initially you have uh, 
kept your switch in close condition so usually remember there is going to be a time constant now the time constant is going to be depending on your r1 and r2 so effectively if we calculate if we calculate you will end up with you have to do thevenin's equivalent so the r thevenin into c will be the time constant initially okay that is for t less than 0 this r thevenin will be effectively r1 parallel r2 i am not getting into that okay so that is actually the time constant the time constant is going to be a kilo into a uh, micro so kilo into micro is going to be milli and that too you are allowing infinite seconds okay for the capacitor to reach steady state means it is already reached what steady state long before you are making a simple analysis only at time t equal to 0 minus so you can assume the potential at this point is 25 by 6 volt and this point remains what 2 volts now tell me what is the potential across your op amp that's a difference vd so what is vd now it is equal to 25 by 6 Minus two. So who is higher? Definitely twenty-five by six. Even twenty-four by six is four. So therefore, VD is definitely positive. That means output will be at what? V naught will be at plus ten. This is what happened. That's the initial state of the circuit. Okay. That's a very simple problem. It's fundamental. It takes little time, but uh, uh, problem is designed with utmost clarity. So that means once you enter into the problem, we can easily. Uh, reach your destination you can solve you can get the idea okay what is exactly the idea of the designer then you can read the mind of the designer then you can connect to the problem very easily okay so that is a voltage so vd is positive since vd is positive op amp output is driven to positive saturation so it is going to be plus 10 so the number given for vcc may be different it's not an issue it is not going to affect your result okay it may be plus 5 minus 5 plus 15 minus 15 plus 12 minus 12 that's not an issue the result the result and time you are going to find out at which the output switches from this plus 10 to minus 10 is going to be same so the, what is the point now a time t equal to 0 that means the time you are about to open the switch the capacitor is holding a potential of 25 by 6 and the output of the op amp is at what plus 10 volt that's a point to begin okay so let us begin the analysis now so now the time begins that is a time begins t is greater than or equal to 0 seconds analysis begins and this point will remain same at 2 volt it is not going to change and the switch is opened okay switch is opened okay for this time switch is open means and this current is zero and therefore the capacitor already holding a potential of what 25 by 6 so it is said to discharge through this resistor the current is going to exist this way okay and hope you remember the capacitor discharging so vc of t is equal to straight away we can say it's vc of 0 into e to the power of minus t by tau into u of t otherwise you can also play with vc of t is equal to its final minus initial into 1 minus e to minus t by tau plus initial also we can play with that's a universal charging discharging transient equation so the final is going to be zero because if you allow enough time uh, at time t could infinity the capacitor will fully discharge okay right and what is the initial it is holding 25 by 6 okay and what is the initial here it is holding 25 by 6 and what is the time constant effectively this is your r and this is your c now so the time constant of the circuit tau is equal to r into c so that is 5 kilo ohm into 0.1 microfarad so probably we can use it in the final step also what is that rc product it is going to be 5 into 1 it is going to 0.1 it is going to be 0.5 micro into kilo is going to be 0.5 millisecond so so that is the time constant tau for the given circuit so tau is known so we have already uh, have our expression ready vc of 0 is also ready so vc of 0 is equal to 25 by 6 volts okay now let us begin so what is the question so initially the output is at what plus 10 so at what time it is going to switch okay that means after opening the switch at what time it will switch from high to low okay there is minus 10 this is the time we wanted to know that means when the switching will happen so for the switching to happen vd has to switch from positive to negative vd has to switch from negative to positive sorry positive to negative so what is the vd right now right now this potential is 25 by 6 and this potential is 2 volt that means as the time increases the capacitor voltage now as of now this is the voltage waveform across the capacitor it is holding 
the potential this is vc of t so it has attained a charge of 25 by 6 long before now it is set to discharge so it is going to discharge okay so now so that means as it discharges, what is your VD now? VD is equal to the capacitor voltage minus what? 2 volt. Okay, VD is, VD of T, you can say VD of T is capacitor voltage minus 2 volt. As the capacitor voltage decreases, at some point, definitely it will become less than 2 volt. Okay, that is a time where VD can switch from positive to negative. That's a time output will switch from high to low. That is the time exactly you are looking for. Therefore, VD of T is equal to Vd of t is equal to Vc of t minus what? 2 volts. So we are looking for the time when Vd will switch from positive to negative. Okay. So this is Vd. Okay. So now Vd of t. Okay. So that's a time where the output will switch from high to low. So then what is the Vc of t? Vc of t is equal to that means at what time it is going to happen? When VD will become negative? When VD will become negative means only when VC of T becomes slightly less than 2 volt. When VD of T becomes slightly less than 2 volts. That means when VC of T becomes slightly less than 2 volts, VD of T can switch from positive to negative. That's where the output will switch from plus 10 to minus 10. Okay, yes. So therefore, VC of T, okay, less than or slightly less than two is the point at which it is going to happen. The desired sequence or desired event is going to happen. So therefore, let me take VC of T is equal to, that is 25 by six into e to the power of minus T by tau, that is equal to two volt at the desired time, okay? So then I can say e power minus T by tau is equal to two into six, that's going to be 12. By this is also volt only, so therefore volt volt will get cancelled. So it's 12 by 25, it's a number that's all unitless number. So apply ln on both sides, then it is going to become minus t by tau into ln of 12 by 25. You will get therefore t by tau is equal to ln of 12, sorry, 25 by 12. 25 by 12 will be the Okay, therefore, the time record is equal to tau into ln of 25 by 12. So, once you get into this point, you have nothing in this problem. Okay, so the problem takes little time, but uh, there is no hidden concepts. You're all familiar with the simple charging of, okay, and discharging of capacitor. This is how the capacitor discharges and looking for the time where the capacitor voltage falls from 25 by 6 to 2 volt. That's a point of time where the switching is going to take place for the output of the op amp. Okay, this is the time. So let us find this. So what is the time t? t is equal to tau into ln of 25 by 12. Okay, that is nothing but t is equal to tau is known. 0.5 milliseconds ln of 25 by 12. So the correct answer is So this will give 0 0.733, 0 0.734 roughly into this 0 0.5 milliseconds. So probably the question is in milliseconds. So let me multiply only 0 0.5. So then the result is going to become 0.36698, okay, milliseconds. That's your time. So the time t is equal to 0 0.367 milliseconds. So maybe up to three decimal places means the answer is 0 0.367. So up to three decimal places, 0 0.367 or up to two decimal places, answer must be 0.37. So that's a very interesting problem from analog electronics, combining little bit of uh, fundamentals of analog along with little bit of transients. Okay, simple capacitor discharging transient. So the capacitor waveform is actually this. So the capacitor waveform is actually this is, this is a long time before it is charged to 25 by 6. Okay, then by the time you started, uh, you just open the switch at time t equal to zero millisecond, the capacitor voltage falls. Okay, so decays towards what? Zero. When it is on the way to zero, it is going to touch the desired potential to volt. So this is exactly the time we are looking for. That is 0.36698 milliseconds. Okay.
So that's a very interesting problem from Gate Instrumentation 22 paper. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this content. Do subscribe our channel. We'll update you with uh, one more problem soon. Okay, thank you.